This is Haining Place in East Ayrshire, next to the Cessnock Water, not terribly far from Dalla's house. This is the Gypsy's Path running below the mound on top of which Haining Place once stood. Records here go back at least to the 15th century and the map show it going back to the very early 17th century. Named Haining Ross because of another barony named Haining in, near Selkirk. Quite an extensive barony this. Its mill was at Craig Mill further up in the Cessnick Water on the other side of the Carnell Estate. So it seems much of these lands here lying to the east of the Cessnick Water were once the barony. Later the Campbells seem to have held the property and in its final days as a farm it was held by the Dukes of Portland. We know of a family named Cunningham that lived here back in the 1940s. This structure seems to have escaped attention, it's mentioned in very few of the books, shown on some of the maps, but is obviously of some great significance in terms of at least as important as the neighbouring castles such as Cessnock, Knockmarlock, Dallas, and others. This is the site of the old road that ran down from Haining Mains to Haining Place. One time here there was a, a tall arch with a stone lion on either side. Down here is the continuation of the road. This section here was known as the Gypsy's Path still has a, a deep cutting with this magnificent stone walling here forming the edge of the courtyard of the old town place. This continued down to the Cestic Water where there were stepping stones and a ford. Also at one point the family known as the Cunninghams who lived here were friendly with the farmers over Bray Head on the other side and built a bridge consisting of two cables, one for the handhold and one for the feet. This is the front area of Haining Place, the old courtyard. We had a curtain wall on it once, hence the name Place. Place as in palace, but originally meaning a castle tower with a surrounding wall. Much more modern structures here. Here we have the ancient building itself, certainly marked back on the maps as far back as the early, early 17th century. These are steps that were built up in much later date, when only the upper part of the building was used as a residence. These lower chambers here are vaulted. The original shape of the building was L-shaped, original as in when it was being used in a vernacular fashion as a farm. This is a view of Haining Place from the side where in later days a walled garden was present. This clearly shows these very unusual windows for a farm making the point that this is some sort of modified tower house like the one that survives at Carnell. This is uh, placed in a magnificent position for the view of the surrounding area. And being close to the river and the ford, an ideal choice to build a tower house. A coins there, as if that was the edge, the end, maybe the gable end of a building. You 
Here's the semicircular side to the stairwell. Here's the entrance to the stairwell. There are three vaulted chambers here. Just to the right there is the entrance to the stairwell. In the distance you can see the other two vaulted chambers. All sorts of crevices and changes, windows blocked up over the years. These are the sides of the old steps leading to upper story. Here's a very interesting arch with modern work above it. Various suggestions of other old parts of the building as this stone that comes out as if it was once an arch. Beautiful vaulted ceilings here, and obviously a window at this end at one time. That door there on the left led up to stairs that went to the upper part of the building at one time. This is the first floor of Henning Place. Here's a collapsed area, which leads to that downstairs what appear to be a window structure. The old front door is just over here by this tree, as in when it's being used as a dwelling. These appear to be structures as part of a door. Here we have the old garden at the back. This is shown as a sort of fenced off area with at one time a greenhouse. And down here again is the courtyard. This is a view from on top of the old, presumably a byre with a brick lining to it, running from here, the end of the Henning Place Tower. with other additional buildings added on at a much later date. These are buildings associated with the old tower. Of a much later date. Here's the end wall of Henning Place Tower. This is the Cessnock Water. This area here is the old road that ran down to the ford and the stepping stones. This area here used to be wooded. It appears at one time to have had a walled garden within it. This is an old windstone quarry. And here we have in a very prominent position with an excellent view of the surroundings. Hating place itself. This is the site of the old ford across the Cessnock Water, running up towards Bray Head. This was once a road, in fact, even up to the 1950s, it's shown on the map, as still being passable. It ran up towards Short Lees, past the old state of Knockmarloch. The road ran along here, then curved in the background on that raised bund, and went up following the gypsies' path, running below 
entertaining place. It was here that there was once the cable bridge by which the Cunninghams made their way across, keeping their feet dry to visit their friends at Brayhead Farm.